Hi friends, my name is Vineet and I am again back with more questions on AZ304 exam. Here I am going to provide you the sample questions or practice questions that will help you in achieving the certification. I have collected this question from various sources. This is not a dump, so don't rely on these questions only. Okay. I have already created two videos, so please go through them as well. Right. Uh, okay. So let's continue. Before just continue, let me just request you that if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, if you like this video, please like. Okay, let's continue. So the question is, a company has hybrid ASP.NET Web API application that is based on a software as a service offering. User reports general issue with the data. You advise the company to implement live monitoring and use the ad hoc queries on stored JSON data. You also advise the company to set up smart alerting to detect anomalies in the data. You need to recommend a solution to set up smart alerting. So here we are talking about that we need to use a solution in which we can use ad hoc queries on stored JSON data. And uh, what we need to do? We need to provide a solution. So, so there are two requirements, one to have the ad hoc queries and another one to use the uh, some logging purpose, how we are going to log in. So guys, how we can do that? Basically, we have a solid feature provided by Azure in which we can store the logs with the help of Azure application insight. So Azure application, so we have the answer here, Azure application insight and Azure monitor log. In Azure monitor log, we will use the queries on the logs right and azure application insight will help in uh, getting the debugging right so we can do the logging with the help of azure application insight okay next question you are designing an application which allow user to upload various types of document the requirement from business owner is as follows the storage space should grow on need basis Data must be available if a data center become unavailable and user should not access storage space directly. Storage account must be minimal. Storage cost must be minimal and which Azure storage account you should consider recommendation. Okay. We have option LRS, GRS, ZRS. Okay. And again, RGRS. So, okay. So please consider this line. Data must be available if a data center becomes unavailable. Here we are talking about the ZRS, Zone Retained Storage, because this feature is provided by the Zone Retained Storage. With the help of Zone Retained Storage, we can store data at multiple data centers. Next question. Your company has 20 web APIs that were developed in-house. Your company is developing 10 web apps that will use the web APIs. The web apps and the APIs are registered in the company's Azure AD. The web APIs are published by Azure API management. You need to recommend a solution to block unauthorized requests originating from the web app from reaching the web API. Okay. So clearly mentioned we are using API management and we need to block unauthorized access. Solution must meet the following requirement. Use Azure ready generated claims. Okay. Minimize the configuration and management effort. Okay. What should you include in the recommendation to configure a JSON web token? So this is very much clear that we are using API management and we need to have some solution for the restriction. So from the API management, we have the API restriction policy with the help of which we can achieve the solution. Okay. Next question. You are designing an application named my application one for your organization. My application one can be accessed by anyone not restricted to your organization employees. Your organization IT team has no upfront information who need to access this application. For audit and compliance purpose, your security administrator want to have an identity entry in Azure Active Directory for every user who access the application. Which solution should you consider? Hmm. So the requirement is to have the auditing. Okay. And what is the other requirement? ID organization team, they have don't upfront information that who need to access the application. Okay. So what we can do and 
figure the, the IQ requirement is also that can be accessed by anyone, not restricted to your organization. So anyone will be able to sign up. So the answer is self sign up, self service sign up, right? Next question. You have an Azure subscription named My Subscription One that is planned to host application owned by several departments in your company. Marketing department, legal department, IT department. We are asked to create Azure service required to support legal application. So let's see what is the requirement of the legal application. Legal application has this requirement. Currently, application are residing on on-premises data center. Legal team wants to ensure that their application and data in Azure is completely isolated to meet their compliance requirement. Hmm? They want to ensure that the application data in the Azure is completely isolated. They want to mix up with other. So we have a level of subscription in which we can do this. So let's see, we have the option. So first option is create a resource group. No, because this will be in the same subscription. It will not be completely isolated. Create a new subscription. Yeah, we have the answer. Third answer was create required Azure services in any of the existing resource group and tag it to legal department. No, that is also not the correct answer. We want to have completely isolated. That can be done with the help of subscription. Okay, next question. You have an Azure app service. Web app that includes Azure Blob Storage and an Azure SQL database instance. The application is instrumented by the using the application inside SDK. You need to design a monitoring solution for the web app. Which solution should you uh, which Azure monitoring service should you use to track requests and exception to a specific line of code within the application? Right, which monitoring service to a specific line of code? Go through the please go through the keywords. We can use Azure application insight with the help of which we can track the code, we can log and that will appear in the our Azure monitor, right? Azure monitor log. So here the answer would be the Azure application insight that will track the request to a specific line of code. Next question. Your customer has created a storage account in Azure and created service level shared access signature okay to various users across globe to upload and download content your customer has noticed that security of the Azure storage account is compromised and unable to find the compromised SAS key okay so what the customer has done he has created a number of SAS keys and he has given to a number of users now because what happened it has been compromised it has given to un users a user who is not who, who should not be able to access it so our customer, your customer has requested to suggest that the way to group SAS and build additional control on the server side. We need to group the SAS, shared access signature. What, uh, what is the correct answer? We have the four answers, storage account key, you can create new one if compromised. No, that is not the correct answer, stored access policy, yes. So stored access policy, uh, we can group our shared access signature. Okay, next answer is firewall to control traffic no implement resource lock no the correct answer would be stored access policy okay next question you are working on a solution design for your organization which has developed and deployed several azure web app service and applications the application used azure sql database to store and retrieve data several departments have the following request to support the application database department has their own requirement development department department has the requirement and security department so we need to recommend the appropriate azure service for the database department so let's see what is the requirement for the database department they want to store an asymmetric key to allow real-time input output encryption and decryption of the azure sql database data and log files we need to store the key simple and how we can store the where we can store the key we can store the key in azure key vault correct answer would be this Next question, you are designing an Azure solution. The solution must meet the following requirement. Distribute traffic to different pool of dedicated virtual machine based upon the rule. Provide SSL offloading capabilities. You need to recommend a solution to distribute network traffic. So guys, here we need to distribute the traffic. Depending upon the features, like we should have the SSL offloading capabilities, right? And these features, let's choose where, what are the current answers. So we have the option of load balancer, traffic manager, application gateway, and several 
server level firewall mode. So this provide SSL offload capabilities provided by the application gateway. Okay, next question. We have a web app named MyApp1 that is hosted on premises and on four Azure virtual machines. Each virtual machine is in different region. We need to recommend a solution to ensure that user will always connect to the closed instance of MyApp1. The solution must prevent the user from attempting to connect to a failed instance. Okay, which solution, which two possible recommendations we will recommend, right? So we have these options. Please go through the questions. So here guys, we are talking about the different reason. Each virtual machine is a different reason. So if you're talking about the different reasons, so that service is provided by either traffic manager or front door services, not via application gateway, because this is not applicable to different reasons. So if you're talking about the considering solution where we have the different reason and we need to provide a solution, we will go either by the front door service or traffic manager. Okay, next question. You are designing a container solution in Azure that will include two containers. One container will host a web API that will be available to the public. The other container will perform health monitoring of the web API and will remain private. The two containers will be deployed together as a group. You need to recommend a compute service for the containers. The solution must minimize cost and maintenance overhead. What should you include in the recommendation? So guys, here we have the answers, service fabric, container service, Kubernetes service, and container instance. So here we are talking about two containers. One is the public and one is the private, and they should be interact with each other. So we have the correct answer that is Azure container instance. Next question. Your company name Preparation Labs Limited implements several Azure Logic apps that have HTTP triggers. Logic app provide access to the on-premises web service preparation lab, establish a partnership with another company. Okay, that company is Aussie. That doesn't have an existing Azure AD and uses third-party over 2.0 identity management tool. Okay, developer add Aussie plan to use a subset of Logic app to build application that will integrate with the on-premises web services. You need to design a solution to provide the Aussie developers with access to the Logic app. The solution must meet the following requirement. Request to the Logic app from the developer must be limited to lower rates than the requested. Okay, the developer must be able to rely on the existing over 2.0. Okay, the solution must not require changes to the Logic app. Okay, solution must not use the Azure AD guest account. Okay. Please go through the question carefully. We have the following answers. Azure AD business to business, front door, API management, AD application props. So guys, we have the requirement, these requirement. The requirement is to limit the lower the rates. And that can be provided. We can limit the uh, uh, rates with the help of application, uh, API management, right? So we have the option here, API management. Okay, next question. We are designing an Azure resource deployment that will use, use Azure resource manager template. Deployment, the deployment will use Azure key vault to store secrets. We need to recommend a solution to meet the following requirement. Prevent the IT staff that will perform the deployment from retrieving the secrets directly from the key vault and use the principle of least privileges. So we need to recommend solution. We have these answers. Let's go through these each one by one. Okay, create a key vault access policy that allows get key permission, get secret permission, get certificate permission. We need to recommend a solution of least privilege. This need to be keep in mind. Okay, from access policy in key vault, enable access to ARM for template deployment. Okay, create a key vault access policy that allow list all key per possible list secret permission and list certificate permission. 
assign the IT staff a customer role, okay, custom role, and assign the key vault contributor role to the IT staff. See, this role is this is not okay because we need to have the list privileges. This is not okay. Uh, create a key vault, export the row list keys permission. We are giving the permission to list all the secret permission ID certificate that is also not okay. Now, the last three options are three, these three options are left. Create a key vault, export that allow get key permission, get secret permission, get certificate permission that allows all. No, it's not okay. So, we have the last two answers one is this from access policy in key vault, enable access to the Azure Resource Manager for template deployment, okay. And the another one is assign the IT staff a custom role that include Microsoft Key Vault deploy action permission. Okay, next question. You have an Azure subscription that contain hundreds of Azure Virtual Machine that run Windows 2016. You also have Windows Server 2016 machine in on premises. You need to centrally monitor all the warning event in the system log of the virtual machine. What should you include in the solution? So this is very much clear. We need to have a log analytical workspace, right? So here we have the two option, create a log analytical workspace and this and this. Here we, this is recommended to install log analytic agent and, and then to cut, configure continuous delivery for system log. So we will choose the install log analytics agent because that will be required to have the logs from this Windows Server 2016 machines. Okay, next question. You are planning an Azure solution that will host production database for high performance application. The solution will include the following component two virtual machines that will run Microsoft SQL Server 2016. The virtual machine will be deployed to different data center in the same Azure region and will be part of always on availability group. SQL Server that will be backed up by using the automated backup feature of the SQL Server and we identify the storage priorities for the various data type as per below. So we have the three data type operating system, database and logs, backup, and these have the priorities. Operating system should have the speed and availability. Database should have the speed and availability and backup should be on lower cost. Here we need to recommend a solution for the backups and it should be on low cost. So if you will choose the answer, you will see the lowest cost is provided by the local redundant storage in which we will replicate the data in the data center itself. Okay, this is the correct answer. Okay, next question. You are planning to publish API for your client by using Azure API management. We discovered that the service response include the ASP.NET version header. Okay. Response is including ASP.NET version header. We need to recommend a solution to remove this ASP.NET version from the response of the API. What we will do? We will create a policy. Hmm? So we have option here, a new policy. Okay, next question. We are developing a sales application that will contain several Azure cloud services that will handle different components of transaction. Different cloud service will process customer order, billing, payment, inventory, and shippings. We need to recommend a solution to enable cloud services to asynchronously communicate transaction information by using REST messages. Okay, let's go through the answers. So the recommendation is just to provide a solution, right? In which we will have the REST message service. We'll have the REST APIs, right? And that will work asynchronously. So guys, here we have these options, service bus, blob storage, notification hub, and application gateway. Application gateway is not the correct answer. This is used for another purpose. Notification hub is used for the notification. This is also not the requirement. Blob storage is used for the vast purpose. And the another is service bus, yes. Here we can, pass the message and we can receive the message in an asynchronous way by the REST API as well. Okay. So here we will pause and we will come again further more questions in my next video. So guys, please be in sync and please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.